Good morning, traders. Can you hear me and see my screen? If you can, just uh, type yes in the questions there. All right. Good morning, Alan. All right, guys. Let's uh, let's get started. And uh, so, uh, uh, just a note here: uh, Tom is back from vacation. He'll get started tomorrow. Okay. So, uh, uh, looking forward to that. Uh, he will be uh, live streaming like uh, basically, um, I mean, you know, it won't be like all day long. I mean, he'll be in and out all day long. Uh, so it'll be a trading room or not. A, it's not a trading room. Uh, it is uh, an order flow room. Uh, in fact, I think it's called Trader Lab. Uh, so uh, uh, look for that and uh, you, you guys will see it when the uh, live button uh, pops up on it and uh, uh you know, he's been doing just fantastic stuff, as a lot of you know, uh, in the uh, futures room, uh, in the Discord futures room there. So uh, now, now you'll, it'll be even better. Uh, he'll be able to share his screen every now and then, uh, and he'll give voice analysis, uh, and that will save his wrists and fingers uh, from all of that typing that he's doing and uh, from missing trades, too. He's been missing trades because he's been helping everybody. Uh, so anyway, uh, looking forward to that. That will start tomorrow. Uh, and um, uh, yeah, it'll be a whole new ball game. All right. So uh, uh, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll uh, you know, push it, uh, uh, shove it off tomorrow and, and get started and uh, uh, on our merry way. Uh, today, what we're going to do is just like we've been doing all all uh, last few weeks, uh, live analysis, Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. So no no webinar yesterday, so just Tuesday and Friday today. Then live trading with JTrader on Wednesday, and then Scott Pulsini, Futures Trader, on Thursday. Uh, good morning, David. Um, and uh, and everyone else, yes. Uh, so uh, anyway, the um, uh, if you're new in here, uh, anyone new in here, if you, well, it might be kind of difficult. Um, uh, if you are new in here, then, uh, you know, you're l probably looking at the screen in the advanced webinar voice chat room. Uh, you can, in the bottom right-hand side, you'll see a kind of a button there to pop it out, uh, pop that window out. And so you can still watch the um, live stream. Uh, and then then that allows you to go to just, a, um, just up above a little bit to the uh, text advanced webinar room okay hashtag advanced dash webinar uh, in there that's where you can have the chat and uh, so you get the best of both, both worlds here we have the chat and we have the uh, the live streaming <clears throat> all right so anyway let's get started here uh, i got to go through some disclosures and then we'll jump in and look at the s p uh, e mini a uh, general disclosure all book map limited materials information and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations risk disclosure trading futures equities and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results all right so let's jump in here we're going to start <clears throat> with the bigger picture uh, and then we're going to zoom into uh, into book map here. A bigger picture, what's going on? All right, so here's the daily chart of the S&P 500. Uh, and uh, we were uh, we were all over this. Uh, both uh, moves to the upside here. Uh, this one here uh, was where we saw these like 34,000 icebergs down here. Led to a five-day rally in all-time highs. Uh, and then this one here, we were kind of watching it. We had a trend line. Uh, and we also had this kind of zone in here where we found buyers before. So, uh, and we did, we found them off the trend line. So that's actually kind of bullish because they didn't even come back down into these lower areas here. Uh, you can see though what happened right now. And these guys, I mean, this is the same stuff over and over again. This order flow that we're covering here on this daily chart is going to be the same uh, that we're going to go over in much, much smaller time frames. So look where we went. Okay, we went up to where these wicks are here. We went to where it dropped from up here. Okay, just a little shy of it. Okay, so uh, uh, you know, but it went up into these areas where there were sellers before, and we found them again. Okay, now we're kind of down in the middle here. So we don't. I mean, uh, well, you can see that now we opened up down here, uh, and you can you can see the uh, uh, we're right on this trend line here. So. 
you know, uh, I, we're gonna we're gonna watch this and take a, a close look here. See if sellers maybe push it through uh, this trend line and back down into the these uh, uh, buy zones down here. Okay. Now let's go from here over to the uh, the hourly chart in the middle here. In the hourly chart here, well, we can see that pullback that we had here. Okay, same as on the daily here. Right back up into these areas, uh, and then uh, sellers came right back in. Okay, we had the the holiday yesterday, and the market opened for a bit, uh, and then here's our open again uh, down here. Now I'm looking at regular trading hours. Okay, so 9:30, uh, and um, uh, here's the uh, uh, move back down into this swing here. Okay, same as on the daily chart right here. Okay, and that's what we're looking at. Uh, and uh, uh, we're starting to find a little bit of buying here, not much. Uh, you can see some of the wicks down here in this on this hourly chart. Not getting really too much from this hourly chart. Let's go over to the 15-minute chart. Okay, on the right-hand side, uh, I also don't see much from this here right now. Okay, we see a little bit of buying here, some wicks down here. Okay, that's good. Uh, where might they go? Well, maybe maybe it comes back up to right around here on the hourly, 46.08. Okay, maybe a little bit lower, 4605, somewhere around there. Uh, and we'll be looking for that. Okay, so let's even draw that up uh, and uh, put a horizontal line in here. Uh, I, I kind of like it around this 05, 06, it's 09, okay. Let's put in 06. Okay, yeah. So let's see if the buyers can uh, bring it back up to here now and, and maybe even kind of fill, there's this whole gap here to fill, right? Pretty big gap in here. Uh, so uh, let's see if we can just get back up to the gap and we'll be looking for that in the order flow. Okay, that's a possible scenario here, okay. Uh, another scenario here is we don't even get close to this uh, and we see sellers come in immediately and we'll curl right back down and go back down and plunge probably back down into these lows in here uh, in this area. So, uh, you know, this would be down here around uh, uh, 45, uh, you know, 60 on, on all the way down to like 45, 20 or, or so. All right. So uh, we have now some scenarios to go through in this higher time frame and take a look at here uh, and understand uh, where we might be going uh, based on higher time frame order flow analysis here. Uh, now we're going to look at the uh, the book map here and uh, and look at where what's going on in in detail here uh, in the order flow. And this is where we're really going to have like the kind of uh, x x ray vision here to be able to like see really what's going on here. Uh, this is liquidity here that got filled. Uh, right around this area here, uh, let's see here, which, which is around 06 or 07, I'm sorry, and then 06 down below here, uh, or this is 4600, the figure, okay? And, you know, we we're kind of looking for that move back up into this kind of, um, well, we said 06, which would probably be right around here. We're almost there. Uh, looking at book map, I, I would be looking for a bit higher move uh, back up to maybe 12 or so here. Okay, based on uh, what we're seeing in here. Now, uh, we we uh, here's the cash open. Here's the move lower into high liquidity. Look at the bid down here, pretty strong. In fact, the bid down here is bullish. Why? Uh, not just because of this move out here, right? And we'd be looking for actually the move back up into like our 06 right now. Okay. Um, the uh, the why this liquidity here is bullish is because these are this is the level here basically here and here. Like uh, at 80, 45, 80, 45, 75, uh, as price came back down into these areas, it didn't even get down into this 75 area, and they're adding more in, and they're also adding more in front of it. So that means that uh, there's people that want to buy in this area. There's more demand, and that demand is front running. They're in front of this 45, 75, and that's the bullish angle to it or aspect of it. Okay, we also have some icebergs here, um, you know, almost 1,800 that filled right at this area around 80. Okay, so we have larger players in there as well. Uh, and uh, now we got to see if we uh, continue, we get our buyers and they continue to move price on up. Okay, so far 
we've just covered we've just come up to the swing here at 4600 we just test retested 4600 okay now the drop happened up here around our our uh, 0506 area here so let's mark it up and we also have an iceberg up here for a thousand Okay, and then let's let's zoom in here and get get an idea of what's going on. Okay, well it broke this structure and it's back in the range now. So we're looking for a bit of maybe a bit of a pullback here. Okay, maybe 95. Okay, maybe even 90 down here. This would be a great area for a pullback. Uh, why? This is the structure. And let me let me outline the structure here, uh, so that. Um, this is the advanced webinar, Bill. So uh, yeah, you're in it. Uh, I mean, go to the uh, the voice room. Uh, you'll you'll see the live uh, icon there. All right. So uh, now this is pretty classic here. Okay. So it broke up above. The structure now broke here, but we're back in it. Okay. So now we're going to see if we get a pullback and then a, and then a, another uh, a bullish move here. Okay, pretty pretty classic stuff here. So looking for the pullback to this area here, our 90 level. Okay, we already came back down into. Uh, God, I don't know what did I say earlier? Was it 95? Maybe this structure here. We're already below it. Uh, looking for the move back down into this liquidity here. Okay, so let me mark up the structure and what I mean by market structure. Okay, we're talking about areas of consolidation and breakout. Same as we were uh, over here, where you can see like uh, uh, yeah, maybe not quite. A, I didn't actually cover it here earlier, um, but you can just see here's an area of consolidation and here's a breakdown. Here's an area of consolidation and it went up to the top of the range here, and then it, it opened up down below this structure. Okay, this cluster, this structure here. All right, so we're looking for a pullback to about 90, and then we're going to look at it again. This is where the liquidity is here at 90. Okay, and structure. Let's mark this up as well. And here's our consolidation, and here's our new new structure here, our breakout. This is our new structure. Okay, and that's why we're looking for that pullback to 90. Now, let's go over what we're looking for in the order flow down here around this 90 level. Because this is this is going to be kind of a key level here. I mean, you can already see what the, the buyers are starting to come right back in already. Okay, so likely they'll try to get back up into another structural area here, right here. Okay, so looking to see if they can get back up to this liquidity at the moment here around 98. And we're getting our answer right away. Okay, so looking for 90 here still. Still haven't traded it yet. Uh, Rambo Mambo yeah yeah sure of course uh, this this is selling pressure up here yeah they're they're you know uh, uh, they're sellers up there but there's also 1700 down here right so one one thing that I'm going to reiterate this uh, we, we always talk about our icebergs as a confluence okay it's not a signal so it's nice to know we have larger players up here we know that uh, they're they're starting to get interested in selling up here Okay, and that's that's probably that's one one player here for a thousand. Okay, but order flow rules. This confirms or yeah helps confirm or it's a confluence. Uh, the uh, the icebergs stops and icebergs. Okay, just like uh, cumulative volume delta, same thing. We're not getting uh, signals off of it. We're looking at the order flow first, and look for an edge there, and then we look for other confluences. Okay, interesting, interesting moves here. We got our, our 
immediate answer right right back down and then and now it's back up into where we thought it was going to go on this move here which is uh, this kind of 98 level here okay we we can start to divvy up the structure even more here but let's just we don't want to drive ourselves crazy here but here's a structure and here's another one. Now look at the sellers coming in. They're trying to get it back down into this level here. Okay, and they're being successful. So let's see if they can continue. Okay, we look for red dots right here, and then we'd be looking for the move down to 92, and then 91, and 90. Okay, and I don't see red dots right now. All right, so we might come back up into this area here above 96 and find our buyers and then back up to 4,600. Okay, so we don't know right now. We're just kind of waiting and watching here, looking for an edge. Okay, here come some sellers. All right, sellers should be able to drop it. 92, let's see. No. Okay, now they got, they got these buyers on the hook, so they should be able to drop it. Let's see if they can. Looking for 92, 91, and 90. Buyers still, they're still buying. They're still interested here. All right, sellers, let's see if you can push it through now. Should be able to. There they go. There's our 91. Looking for 90, or 92, I'm sorry. Looking for 91. And let's try to get to 92. There, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to sit back, wait, and watch, and see what what's going to un unfold here in the order flow at this 90 level. Uh, Tom, well, good morning, Tom. Um, I don't know, trouble, <laughs> NW, Northwest, nowhere, <laughs> now, yeah. now, okay. Yeah, we'll see. Let's see if these buyers can come in. We're at right at a low volume node here. Or are we gonna get are we gonna try to bounce, maybe get people going short into this kind of eighty-five ish level here? I don't see liquidity there. Liquidity's here at eighty seven. Yeah, I mean I would like to see kind of uh get some people on the hook here and then come right back up above this kind of ninety ish level here. Uh, with some buyers in force and then right back up to 95. That's what I'd like to see. But the sellers keep keep pushing it lower here. So, you know, maybe down to 85 or so. No, it's going to it's going to bounce off of this 87 level here. Got some buying icebergs down here. Okay, not much. Boy, not really seeing much here, guys, at the moment. This is actually kind of good here to see these buyers come in like this. <clears throat> now they need they if the if this is for real though, I mean this is where we it looks good. They made, they made a lower low here. Uh, but the buying pressure comes in now, but the structure is still uh, bearish here. We made a lower low. We made a lower high here. We got to see the buyers bring it back up to 90 here. And we got to see big buying like this green dot up here. We need to see more up here. Okay, and we're not. Not yet. So sellers can still push it to 85 here. And that would be the more likely move right now. Okay, now again, like you know, th these are not trade recommendations. Um, uh, we're just reading the order flow here. Okay, when we see something that is higher probability, we will mention it. 
Okay, but uh, you know we're, we got to read the order flow nonetheless. We as many instance, instances of order flow as we can get under our belts, the better. That's what we're here for, right? And then uh, uh, we will read it on small time frames, high time frames, uh, so that we can go through as many instances uh, in this kind of one hour period. Right, we don't always get the higher time frame move in this one hour period. We've been lucky, we, we have lately, actually. We've seen some really, really good moves in the one hour period here, one and a half hours of this webinar. It's been, it's been fantastic. Uh, it doesn't happen very often. Right, so, we, so we'll read smaller moves. It's all fractal. I mean, the same things we were looking at on this daily chart here, and looking at some of these zones in here, you know, what we what are the scenarios on this one hour chart as well. Okay, it's the same things we're going to be looking at here, even on the much smaller time frames. Okay, like smaller time frame, yeah, you'd be looking for a move right back up to this uh, 90 level here. Okay, and there it is. All right, so now we're, are we getting our big green dots we wanted up here? Not really, but they're moving it. I'm kind of looking to see if, if if we don't get those big green dots, then we have the potential for that false breakdown. Back down underneath 90, okay, and sellers to come back in and then bring it down to kind of our 85, 86 level here. And here they go. They're going to go for it. Let's see. If, this is where they need to push it, underneath 90. Okay, or is it going to accept higher? The volume looks it's decent. It's pretty good on the buy side. It's not bad. So we, maybe it just makes it up to 95. Okay, so here's our move to 95, or just shy, just shy of it, looks like. There we go, there's 95. All right, let's zoom out. Let's go through our, our uh, kind of bigger picture now, kind of re uh, reevaluate here. Okay, buying's good. Let's see if they can continue. 4,600 is the next stop here then. <clears throat> Above the swing here. And where, where might we look for also pullbacks? Well, this cluster here and then this cluster here. And we're already getting the pullback here to the first cluster. All right, let's see if buyers still support it here. Okay, so just below the swing, beautiful, and no buyers, no buyers. So likely they'll try to take it right back down to, to 90. Okay, here's the move to 90. Now, this is a big question here at 90. If we get sellers below 90, look look, look for the move back down to like this 86 and 85 level here. Look at the offer here, starting to give us a little bit of insight. Okay, see how they're on the offer at a lower area? These guys at 90 are holding steady though. They want to be buyers here, it looks like. So let's see if the sellers take them on and trade into and through. There's a little bit of skew in the order book here. You can see how the, you know, uh, these algos and, and traders, they kind of test these areas here. Is there supply? Is there demand? What's the reaction to that supply and demand? Okay, this is nice buying in here, but we're, we're, we didn't break this, this 93 area here. Right, now we did. Let's 
some exhaustion. Let's see if we get our sellers to come in and try to get these guys upside down and then back down to 90. Now uh, they're, they're seem to be buying. Okay, sellers, let's see it right here. This would be a nice little stop run to the downside into 90 if they can do that, and maybe back down into 86 and 85 as well. Nothing nothing high probability here yet. And the move, the move was to the upside here, back to 95. Okay, more buyers. All right, let's see. Let's see then. Take a look at it up here around 95. Yeah, I, I still don't like it. In fact, I'd still be looking for the move back down into this swing here, 91.75, and this liquidity here. Okay, bid is looking better here. Yeah, here we go. Okay, all right. So let's see now. We're down here. Let's see if these sellers can drop it to 90 here. I like it. These guys will all be on the hook here. We should see a nice stop run to the downside as well. And let's see if we can con continue to tumble back down into 85, 86 here. Okay, but the liquidity is here at 90 right now. And that's what we're looking for first. Uh, Vindich, let's see, beginner question. Your icebergs show approximately negative 120. Yeah, uh, so this is the current output. Now, um, this is going to be very, very different than what you get um, because when I open up my book map, um, this is like a cumulative volume delta uh, of the um, uh, uh, the output. So it's when I opened book map. All right. So uh, it, when you opened up yours, you're gonna you, you can see like when I opened mine up, it was right here. Okay, so it was around uh, uh, nine thirty six or so. You know, I got I got in kind of late today, um, but um, uh, and so I have this is my output since nine thirty six. Okay, great, makes sense. Okay, we have one buyers came up one more time. They did break this swing, but not this one. This isn't really easy reading in here, uh, to be honest. I mean, uh, I'm, I, I would give kind of the nod to the buyers here, but uh, you know, I'm just, I don't like it. It, it, it. There's some pretty big swings in here and so there's a lot of selling in here still. So I'm actually looking to see if these guys can get on the hook. And then, like I said, what we're looking for, here's our move into 90. Now we really need to see, if we see a lot of selling coming in here, it looks pretty good for going back down to our 85 level here, 86, 85 level. Yeah, I'd be looking for them right here. Come on, sellers, let's see it. Let's see, we have a little more. Uh, um, supply here, looking for the sellers, looking for a quick drop, looking for the stop run into 86 and 85. Now they they pulled from 85. They're no, I'm sorry, they're still at 85 and 84 now. Buyers are fighting it. They're still fighting it here. And now we should get a nice move on that sell side. Let's see it. No. Still finding buying pressure. Okay, here we go again. Let's see it on this rotation. Back down around 89. And we, we're not. They're still buying. They're still fighting it here. 
more more buyers than sellers in here now but see see how we're reading the battle in here and and they're battling it like and, and these buyers can't lift it higher though at least not yet if they can't watch watch when the sellers come in yeah they they're they're just struggling here okay, and that's what's happening in, in the in the auction here there's some exhaustion okay if we can get down here at 90 we should see the move back down into these levels here okay let's see it sell, sell side right here and then boom Come on, more selling than that. That's not enough. We're down at 88, though. And it's just not enough. You know, it's 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 doing it, but we just need to see. We need to see more selling than that. Sure, we can take a look at Bitcoin. Yeah, I mean, we're not we're looking for specific things in here for kind of something higher probability. Now that might happen here right now. Let's see if we get our sellers here at eighty nine again. If we if we do, uh, it's looking pretty good. We're not not yet. All right, we should get them here. We should get them. There they are. All right, so they should be able to hit it uh, into kind of our 80, 85, 86 level here. Let's see it. They're down here. Okay, there's a few here. Now, it's, it's still not a whole lot, though, right? It's not like this. This is We want to see these big red dots. That's what's going to carry this down, down into, into 80, uh, 85, 86. I mean, this is a scalper's paradise right now from in a range. Okay, there's a bit of exhaustion. All right, let's see the sellers here and let's see if they can hit it. Now, if if we get the buyers back up here at 91, then they got some of these sellers on, on the uh, uh, on the run. Yeah, here they come. Here come the sellers. All right, this is this is good. See see how this helped us here. This liquidity that came in here at uh, at ninety and a half, that really helped us. Okay, now we're down here at eighty eight, and we're looking for the continuation. Okay, here's more liquidity here. Right now at eighty eight, and we're still looking for this to go lower. So this is where, this is where the liquidity can help you. And now this guy pulled though, so we're we're still in a small downtrend here though. It looks like we had some icebergs in here. Okay, interestingly enough, this is kind of our high volume node up here now. We were looking at this kind of 85 level it was, but now all this trading up here has turned it into this up here around 94, 93. Okay, here come our sellers. They're still still hitting hitting the bid here.
Come on, sellers. You should be able to hit it. 85. All right. 86 and a half. We never got our stop run either. Not yet, at least. Oh, another thing about the icebergs, you know, uh, like these 1,000 up here, um, uh, that uh, uh, Rambo Mambo was mentioning here, was the, um, you know, well, the one thing about icebergs that we know uh, is as, you know, as a, um, just think of yourself using limit orders. Okay, I know that these are hidden orders. It's different. But, uh, you know, usually when you use a limit order, it is very rare that it hits your level perfectly, trades it, you get filled, and then it bounces and goes, you know, in your in your favor. Okay, usually you're at a loss immediately. Okay, I think it is the same thing for these hidden orders and icebergs. They get filled, they get more filled, they get more filled as it goes against them. Okay, here's here's the liquidity, here's the, the trading we're looking for down here. This is where we should get the break here into 85. Now look what's happening down here in the order book though at 84, 85. Okay, here's our move, right, into and it's even 84 down here. Okay, there's our stop run. Look, look who's on the other side here, though. Okay, we have 1,500 icebergs. Okay, it's, it's not bad, right? So, but what we're looking for here, is, if this is going to be a, we're looking for a potential false breakdown here. Okay, we're looking for buyers now up here at 87. Okay, and we're looking for the order book to maybe support it even more underneath here around 85 or so. If we're going to get that scenario here. I mean, we could. It might be a false breakdown. Okay, what that scenario is going to look like, buyers up here, 87. Okay, here, here's the potential move right here, right now. See the exhaustion there on the, on the sell side? Right here. No red dots there. Okay, now, that, now we have to... Um, Look at that again here, and now we're looking. We came back down here. We still now we we didn't get red dots here, so we're getting green dots. So looking for that move now. Okay. Now this would we'll go over this you know uh, quickly here, uh, but um, uh, is and it's kind of um, you have to be really quick on these, right? Now we have our responsive buyers here trying to move it back up into these previous areas here. So the first one should probably be up by these swings. I do not see much liquidity here. It's more at 90. Okay, so let's see if the buyers can move it right back up to 90. Uh, I'm really curious about this move to about 94. Okay, this zone in here. Okay, now I don't see much liquidity. I don't see uh, a, much of a structure here either. I mean, uh, I guess we could, you know, mark it up kind of like this. Uh, and we'd be looking for, you know, the most traded level of that, which is going to be right around here. Okay, now we got up to 87 and a little bit higher, 88. And look at the buyers up here. Okay, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. So I don't know if we're ready for this yet. We made a lower high, in fact. We didn't even come up above this swing. We might see more sellers come right back in and try to move it back down to 83, 82, and 80. Uh, you're getting a false breakdown on the audio. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let me let me try it again here. Um, should should be working. Should be working fine. Does it sound kind of robotic? Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Let me let me let me try something here.
Okay, how about how about this? Is this uh, better? Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's, I have I've got some problems here, and I'm not sure how to handle it. Um, all right, guys, here we go. Here, here come those buyers again. See how they're going to try to take these guys on? They're interested in that liquidity at 88 here, right? So now we're looking for the potential breakout into uh, back up to our, our, our 94 level uh, that we're talking about here. These are the responsive buyers moving it right back in, okay? Now, this is kind of interesting because this was kind of the, the, the point of control or, you know, very um, uh, most traded level down here. Now it's kind of up here. All right. So, uh, yeah, here, here come those buyers. They're trying to move it back up. Okay. This is the scenario we're, we're looking for. We're looking for it here. We did not get the buyers here. We did. Now this is again, where, where the heat map can help you. They came in here and they're, they're actually kind of aggressive in here. In fact, uh, it was more selling here and then below it as well, but the buyers took them on. They were attracted to this liquidity here. Okay, now they're still playing games here. They, we just got below it here, and they're they're slamming the door yet again here. Likely the same player here. And now let's see, are buyers still interested? Well, let's see if they take them on. Yeah, they did. Okay, so now back to the scenario. We've got to get up above, and we're looking for our buyers, and then we're looking for the move back up to 90, and then our 93, 94 level here. Okay, we're back up above it. We've even got a book flip here. Okay, and here come our buyers. This is happening really quickly here. You gotta be on your toes looking for these things uh, if you wanna get in and get out really quickly. Okay, we, we can go over trading strategies in here. You, it's really, it has to happen quickly. Uh, and one thing that, I mean, and not always, not always happen have to happen quickly, but we can go over like this one down here. Okay, we were looking for that move into uh, you know 80, 86, and 85. It went back down to about 84 uh, and filled even that liquidity down here. Okay, we got our stop run. We have icebergs on the other side here, uh, but sellers are still in control here. Okay, from this move now, this volume on the sell side though. If a lot of these are stops in here, it's likely people exiting. So it's not new selling necessarily. So if we get back up above that area and we get new buying coming in, we have the potential for the move higher. And that's what we're looking for. Now, what we read down here in the order flow was, uh, you know, uh, we're looking for sellers down here. Here, we didn't get it. It started to exhaust out here. See, see the green line here it just means it's, it's the best bid and nothing traded on it. So we trade back into this small little range in here. Now we're looking for buyers in this little range here for them to take it back up into 88 and 88.50 liquidity here. Okay, now we're looking at micro, kind of more micro like structure. Okay, microstructure, to be, if you want the proper definition of microstructure, is when you're really zoomed in here and you're looking at all of these details in here. Okay, so it's it's not really microstructure, uh, but uh, uh, we're still looking at very, very small time frame structure. Now, here we had our double bottom, looking for our buyers up in these areas here. Okay, we came down one more time and then we started to see actually more buyers down here, not sellers. So this was, a lot of times you can get kind of faked out in this little move here. We got our double bottom, uh, even a higher low here, and we're looking for buyers here. It did They didn't come in. Sometimes, a lot of times, you'll see the sellers come in here and hit it hard. Okay, because uh, may, they might get some buyers in here, and then they got them upside down, and then they'll get them stopped out. Uh, so we, we need to be careful of that. But we got back down here, and we didn't get our sellers. Right? So that's where we look again for buyers back up, up in here. We didn't really get them. We, we can see them in here, right? And they lifted it back up to here. This is where they really came in though. And now they're going to move it, okay? But we have this understanding of the trading uh, and the order book within this little area here that gave us an edge. Now it happened quickly, okay? But we were looking for it. It even pulled back to right to uh, that area here. 
and, and then here's our double bottom pattern again not not the easiest to read here selling here that looks pretty good okay no selling here buyers on the other side here yeah it only looks good if we can get buyers up here at 8650 and if we do yeah here this looks good and we should hit 88 8850 and we did okay so under understand that the, the uh, kind of the buyers and sellers within these ranges okay and where that liquidity is and what's the reaction to that liquidity now we notice that they're they're being more aggressive in here so i'm kind of going in in hindsight here uh, and covering what we what we saw here okay because it's going to happen again and again so you have to be kind of quick uh, to 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 look for it and take advantage of it they were interested in this liquidity great so uh, then if they're going to be buying at these higher levels i'm looking for them to trade into these guys here uh, on the uh, on the offer they did and went higher we got a pretty nasty pullback and they even tried to you know uh, close the door here on on the people that bought above it here see right in here uh, at 88 or 87 and, and three quarters and the buyers took them on though they even flipped the book here we didn't see the flip until later we, we were looking for buyers above it we got it okay and uh, and then they flipped the book and we even got more buyers great all right so looking for these areas of liquidity up in here to transact likely 92 Okay, even 92 pulled. So looking for higher still. Okay, so where did we go? So this is a beautiful move. Uh, right up into our 94 and above, just about 95. Okay, and th now this makes really good sense. Okay, because that was a really highly traded level up here. So these are the response. This is what it looks like. When you get responsive buyers coming in at this at this bottom edge here okay and what we're looking for in the order flow for that move to unfold so we caught both moves here looking for the move away from this area back down into this uh, uh, previous kind of uh, traded level or value area okay um, and it it's also holding up with structure in here too uh, but uh, anyway we got the move back down into these uh, our 85 and, and 86 level uh, and then we're looking for the potential for the move back up into the range here back up into this level here All right and, and played out pr pretty nicely now and we noted it we we're looking for that those sellers to come in for the move back down into 85 and 86 when we're looking for our buyers to try to move it back to kind of our our 90 94 level here and uh, and we read the buyer in here. A any questions on this? I mean, this is recorded, so I, I would, you know, I'll, I'll put the recording on on on, you know, in here when it's ready, uh, so you guys can go back and and review if you want. And now, now where are we? I mean, my God, now I, it's just, we're kind of in no man's land. We, it, it did, those things played out and we're still right back down here, right around 85, 86. All right, so now we could look, we could start look for what, what it might look like when we have like uh, our impulsive uh, sellers coming in here. Okay, we're, we're at this kind of high volume area here. We're looking for them to pull it away on size this is where we got to see like really big red dots in here starting to come okay now we need to see what we're looking for here are two different things one is is um well just with the volume alone we're looking for two different things okay we're looking for big red dots and we're looking for you know pretty strong price movement here let's see if they do it here okay they're trying and it's a, it's a bit of a battle in here Uh, what is being showed on this stream is available for a free version as well um, yeah I mean right now this is uh, kind of free and open to all uh, 
uh, we've been doing it in here since the beginning of the new year, or kind of the holidays, and we decided, well, we want, we're, we're trying out, and we want to kind of get, you know, experienced here um, in Discord. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, our, we, we started to offer our, our live webinars in here. Uh, over the holidays and now we got to kind of figure out what we're going to do with it all um, but uh, uh, yeah it's been uh, uh, free and open to all uh, and uh, you know now we're pretty experienced on our discord and our streaming here see look at the sellers here guys see the seller selling starting to come in now we're looking for the dump into 80 70 77 75 we're looking for this to start to trend okay now when we look for this move, we're looking for not only sellers, we're looking for movement too. It's got to move away here. It got to move away from this um, uh, high high traded level in here, right? So it it they need a lot of power to do that, a lot of selling power. And let's see if they have it here. If they don't, we'll get back up above eighty five, and they'll they'll trade it right back probably to eighty nine here. I don't like it. I mean, it, it, we're below it here, but we only went from 85 to 83. That's only two S&P points. Not enough. Not enough. In fact, this, this usually lead, can lead to a, a false breakdown. And that false breakdown, we know what that scenario looks like. We're looking for buyers up here around 85. And they'll, they'll move it probably easily back to 86, 86.50. But uh, maybe to the other side here. Yeah, so, I mean, this it's still doing it. It's still breaking down, actually. So, yeah, still looking for 80 here. Uh, but it's just not as high probability. You know, you'll, you'll see when this moving away. And they're starting to. They're starting to. So looking for 80, looking for, you know, uh, 77, 75, maybe 72. And there's our 80. Okay, now we can talk about some trade management considerations in here. Uh, it's like I said, this is not really the the greatest kind of setup in here, uh, due to the order flow reading. And so, how do you kind of like uh, uh, manage your risk in here? Well, I, yeah, I, I did not like this. It was only two S&P points. So it, I was looking actually for the potential for the move back into kind of 86 and then 89 or 90 up here. In fact, it might do it now. Yeah, so actually, yeah, looking for that move now. Let's see if we can get the buyers here to move it back to about 86 and a half. Yeah, they're buying off of this. Buyers up here. Let's see it. And then they should be able to move it. If we get enough buying pressure. Okay, what's the reaction to that liquidity here at 85 or 84 and a quarter? Do we get buyers? Nope. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's see it now. Okay, looking for it. A little bit at 82 and a quarter or 82 and a half here. They're starting to kind of pull a little bit here at 84 and a quarter. No, no, that's not going to work. And that's failing. So sellers can move it back down to 80 here. Try to fill these guys here at 80. It's pretty big, pretty big order down here. Large lot tracker shows about half of that liquidity is at 80. Here's one one individual actor. See, so yeah, we're just not getting too much out of the out of the um, the order book in here. Uh, it, we like to see like some pressures in here, like skew that that uh, order book like this right here see these guys coming in here right right now 
Okay. And what's the reaction to that? Do we get our sellers down here? Or we get buyers that take them on. And we got buyers that took them on. Now they're they were trying to bid up underneath here. Not just wasn't much. Yeah. Okay. Then then likely move is is in, into eighty here. Looks like sellers are just going to take it into eighty. And and below here this is where the and the, there we go there's our 80 now we're looking for them to continue here uh would love to see more on the offer up here right if we don't like you know the, the buyers can still easily move it back up here to 83 84. okay more sellers and more sellers let's see the drop into 78 and our 77 maybe down to our 75. Okay, there's 78, Okay, we're getting responsive buying, trying to move it back to 86. Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like it. Looks like a, there's liquidity coming in at 80, and the reaction is buyers. So looking for those buyers to move it back to 85 and maybe 86 here. At least 84. At least 84. We can still be bearish if it comes even to 84 here, but see, see the buy, the buyers coming back in. They're they're moving it back up into where they think it's they can cover and where there's value. It's at a discount in here. Uh, uh, Reka, uh, yeah, we we stream in here. Um, uh, every day for these advanced webinars. I mean, it's, it's been kind of a trial period here. Usually this is our bookmap webinar that is, uh, uh, comes with your bookmap global plus subscription. Okay. When you subscribe to bookmap, you get a, um, uh, you get a couple, you get quite a bit actually. You, what you get is access to educational course. Uh, any subscriber gets that. Uh, but then you get these advanced webinars. Uh, they go for like an hour to an hour and a half every day. And the idea is to go through that same course content in the live market. So you can really apply what you've learned. So we're going to, you know, it's not a trading room, as, as you can see. It's an order flow reading room. And, and you know, maybe I should uh, I should cover these on, on uh, a, a bit more of like, what time frames and, and, and what kind of trade setups, I guess. Um, because uh, here, um, you know, like, like what, what time frame here? I mean, yeah, in some of these, like I'm looking for these moves into some of these areas here, like we were in our 85, 86 level, uh, and then the move back here. Now, that time frame would be very small. Just this move, just this move to 94 here, and it would be based on this uh, the break above this area here. So we're only talking about being in the market for a little bit here, right? And then we saw a nice little kind of setup in this area here, and we, and we covered that in, in detail. So that that's a very small time frame setup. Okay. This move back down into this lower level is also a pretty small time frame setup. It's only you know a matter of minutes. It actually went quite a bit longer than that. Uh, you know, it it um, we started at ten, uh, and we were looking for uh, that move back down lower into, and maybe the bounce off of here. Yeah, we were looking for this to be trap volume and then to come right back up and, and then get maybe stop run to the upside. We did not get the stop run here to the upside. Um, and it, it did not make it up above this swing high here. And then once it came back up again and we saw the move down below it, that's when we're looking for the move lower. 
And this took a while in here. There's a lot of back and forth in here. And we did note, though, like in this in this order flow, in this area here, we had our exhaustion here. Even the buying in here, they, they were buying, but they just couldn't make it higher, right? That's when we started to look for our sellers down here. And it wasn't too convincing, uh, this this selling in here at all. Uh, here, here's the stop run, and here's the move, though. Okay, and then we had the potential for that false breakdown, and then the move back up. Okay, so see, these are, you know, pretty small time frame. However, like, you know, like I, I started off the webinar, uh, you know, we can look at the same setups here on this chart. This is an hourly. Here's a daily on the left-hand side. Here's our 15-minute chart. Now, our 15-minute chart, we we went through one scenario in here. We thought, well, maybe we can we'd get back up into like uh, um, you know some of these. Uh, maybe we get back up above and fill the gap in some of these areas up here. Uh, nothing nothing shaking. You know, buyers tried to come in. They, they didn't do much of anything. Uh, and then uh, we're right back down here again. So same setups, same, this just much higher time frame. Okay, so yeah, here, 80, 80 filled again. Okay, and they, they completely filled it. Even went a little bit lower here. And now we broke this small structure, but we're right back in the range. All right, so let's see a bounce off of this little area here, right here. And let's see if we get our buyers in here and a move back up to 85. And then maybe uh, 88 and 3 quarters, 90. Okay, so here come buyers. Let's see if they can move it back to 85. Okay, there they are. Now let's see them try to really lift it here on some pretty strong buy volume back up into 88 and 3 quarters. Okay, liquidity is up there, but also at 90 as well. Yeah, sure, HE. Yeah, we can take a look at um, uh, the heat heat map configuration. But yeah, sure. I mean, uh, here's here are my heat map settings. It's pretty pretty close to default, if not default. Here, let me just bring it to default. There we go. Ah, the only difference is the, uh, the um, transparency here, basically. This is a new feature up here, guys. That you, if you haven't seen it. I really like it. Uh, you you can uh, kind of uh, make the the heat map transparent, so you can quickly kind of look at maybe your icebergs and stops or sweeps or whatever, and then come right back. Okay, so this was a uh, very short lived here. Uh, I'm still looking for these buyers here, see if they can move it back. They've moved it back to actually the most traded level here, which was kind of well, maybe just a little shy of it. 86 is kind of it. Um, I was looking for the move back up into like kind of 89, 90 here um, and uh, looking pretty good. But boy, we're right back down again. So if we can get our sellers here again. Then we're going to see a, a book sweep out down into 78, 77 and, and, uh, and lower here. Uh, heat map dimming. Um, I don't know when that might come on Mac, uh, David, good, good question. Okay, guys, looking for that book sweep lower here. Let's see if those sellers can come in and just really annihilate the bid and extend this lower. Looking for a huge stop run here. And hit it. Should be able to hit it here. 
There's 78. Looking for 77, 75. There's 70 below 77. The C75. Nice liquidity at 75. Uh, does everyone have heat map dimming? Uh, no, just the latest version um, and buds. Uh, I think you need, it, you, you can download and install it uh, very easily. Just go to bookmap. Well, bookmap.com slash portal is the, you know, more formal way to do it. And you'll see the bookmap alpha version 7.3 and download that. I've been using it for a long time here, the 7.3, and it's been very solid. I haven't had any problems. Uh, guys, let, let, so yeah, it's doing what, you know, we're looking for that. We're looking for our buyers here back up into kind of this uh, 88, 89, 90 level, whatever it was. Uh, and then we couldn't do it here. Then we're looking for our sellers here, and we're looking for that push, right? And our stop run. We got it, right? Down into 75 here. Uh, we're seeing more icebergs now starting to transact here at 75. Uh, and um, this is more more like the move we're kind of looking for, though. Um, from 78 down to 7, that's nah, only three points. It's only three. So it like two to three points, you have to be very careful here. Yeah, they might move it and continue to move it away here. Uh, but uh, it's not quite enough. If we get a lot of buying pressure, which we are getting here, back up here then we're looking for them, them to move it right back up into this 85 level here again right and get these guys and the stop run to the upside here so actually this is a, another false breakdown here okay now what would the follow-through look like here in the order flow okay so uh yeah here a pullback to maybe here around 77 or 78 here where these buyers came in Okay. looking for more uh, on the bid at a higher level here. Okay, we're not getting either of that right now. And we're looking for more buyers up here, around 79 and, and a half. Okay, and I don't like it here. I'm, it easily, very easily sellers can take it lower here. Now, here, here's, what, here's where we get our insights. Okay, so here's some, some liquidity here at 77 and three quarters and we're getting our buyers okay all right they should be able to skip it right up into uh this kind of uh 82 level okay even more now what's the reaction to this this liquidity here do we get more buyers okay we are all right so we're still looking we're looking for our 82 level here okay so understanding again, see how this came in here and, and was a reaction to this. Give us some insight here. Okay, so this is another version of what a false breakdown looks like here. So at least so far, it hasn't really played out completely. I mean, it looks like a really nice finished edge. And what I mean by finished edge here on the in the profile is really simple. I mean, like, it's kind of like exhaustion. Look how much trading is happening down here. Not a whole lot. Right? So where is the trading taking place? Most of it up in this area up here. So we'd be looking for that move back to these guys up here in this swing up here around 85. Okay, and, and what what do we look for for that move? We're looking for buyers here and also this kind of insight with on the bid here. A okay, bit of buying, not much. Okay, here they come. 
All right, now we get our buying here at 79 and a half, and then they should be able to move it back up into the kind of this 82 level here. And nothing shaking so far. Sellers are in. Okay, we can see our market structure is still holding here. Very small time frame structure, but it's still holding. Okay, very dark here. I don't like seeing that. I want to see them bid up. Okay, there's a little bit here, but the reaction was buyers. So still looking for this 82 and then back to 85 up here, this swing here. And that's what we're looking for here. Okay, I wouldn't mind taking some off at 82 uh, if I was in this. These are very small time frames we've been looking at. We haven't had a lot to go on for higher time frame today. Here they go. Okay, so just about 82. Okay, so yeah, if you took some off there, but still holding. Looking for the move back to this cluster. The, this, this is a nice area for, for buyers to take it back to. We have the cluster. Uh, we have that potential move all the way back to 90, in fact. Uh, kind of other side of these ranges here. But the bigger move is, is or the more kind of higher probability move is to kind of 85 here and the swing and the cluster here okay so uh, that's looking pretty good playing out pretty nicely and there we go okay okay so we've seen a lot of false breakdowns today and breakouts mostly breakdowns though All right, guys. Well, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to, um, a couple of things I want to do here. Um, number one, I want to go over Bitcoin. Um, guys, we're, and we're still looking for this, guys. Here's why we're still looking for 90 here, right? We're not only are we getting our buyers here, but it's, it's because of this previous activity here, but we already knew there's buying up here. So we're now we're looking for them to try to extend it higher here. Now we, we got our responsive buyers. They're going to be taking profit here around 86. So we got to be kind of careful about that, but there's just more buying kind of up at these levels so they can extend it and try to slip on up into kind of this 80, 89, 90 level here. But we're going to get our profit taking for sure. Believe me. Uh, so we're likely to get a pullback here uh, and that pullback. Well, they're here at, in the book at 84 but uh, also the pullback can come back down to 81 uh, and, and a uh, and a quarter here all right looking at our market structure so we anticipate that the action of these responsive buyers to take profit up here they their job is done okay we were doing we were talking about doing the same okay makes sense you would anticipate or look for uh, this potential pullback here all right, so we're gonna we're gonna leave this for a second here. Let's go over to the uh, uh, Bitcoin, and we wanted some analysis on that. Yikes! Uh, it doesn't look like a whole lot going on here. Um, it looks pretty messy. Okay, we'll get some more data in here. Uh, you know, another way to look at this here as well is to uh, if you guys are. Um, you want really want to look at higher time frame stuff in order flow and bookmap. Uh, you can you can zoom out a month here at, at bookmap web web.bookmap.com and this is mul this is a multi book product here. So this is Bitcoin from 
you can see what exchanges here from Binance, Bitstamp, FTX, GDAX, uh, and Kraken. And here's our higher time frame order flow. But sellers in control. I, I don't know what happened here. Lost some loss of data. Um, but we're we're in a we're definitely in a downtrend. And in here, let's start to zoom in here. Yeah, I mean we're still in a downtrend. Okay, let's let's jump into. Uh, a little bit more activity here in in uh, and bookmap desktop version. Boy, I'm not really seeing a whole lot here, to be honest. I mean, it's really a mess in here. Look at the heat map; it's a mess as well. I mean, I I don't know. The traders probably just don't know what to do right now. I mean, they are, they are buying the kind of bottom edge down here and selling the t kind of top edge here. But this is really messy right now. I mean, they're all over the place. Okay, guys, I want to go back to that S&P and I want to show something here. Um, I want to go over this, the uh, sweeps indicator. It's with the Global Plus package. There's been some questions about this. Uh, Tom, you, in particular, you had some questions. I want to cover it now. Uh, and then uh, I'll, I'll spend some time with you too, uh, Tom. But I, I want to go over it now so, so everyone can get uh, some insights on it. Okay. Uh, and uh, you know who's a, a master in using this here is Moby uh, and um, I think Dove as well as uh, David uh, are, are all using this. You, you, you'll find those guys in the, uh, um, in the futures room uh, here in Discord uh, and I would ask them directly, okay, especially Moby. Uh, he, he's from Western Australia so, um, uh, you, you know, I You'd, you'd catch them probably on uh, extended uh, trading hours. Uh, here, here's what I wanted to show. Sorry, um, in in Twitter here, uh, we'll just scroll down a little bit and we'll find a few from Moby. Uh, in here, yeah, here. So go to uh, Mobster16, okay, uh, in Twitter, uh, or just reach out to him in in the. Um, uh, Discord chat. That's actually the best. But he's got lots of examples in here. He's 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 really good at it. Uh, he's he's a master here. Okay, so um, uh, you know he he looks for it in uh, the Nasdaq uh, a lot of the time, and it really makes good sense. I, I love the way he's using this. Um, he's looking for that sweep that book sweep up into like a stop run basically, um, and a, a book sweep up above or below a level. And then he's looking for the traders to come in above. Let's say the book sweep is to the downside, and then you're looking for them to come up above it here and then return back into these levels here. All right? Makes really good sense because if it's a if it's a stop run and a book sweep lower, uh, then you'd be looking. It means that you know basically people are are out of the market. They've puked out of the market, and that's when you're looking for the buyers to drink, bring it back in. All right. So same thing we'll do, look at here. Uh, and uh, let me let me uh, turn off of the uh, the, the on chart icebergs for a second here, and we'll look at the sweeps. So guys, we'll go for, we'll go over this for about you know maybe five or, or seven minutes or so, and we'll call it a day at the London or uh, European close here. We're just about there, so we should see some sweeps back and forth. To be honest, uh, yeah. Okay, question here, um, RKHM. Um, 
about resources or a PDF on the website of, about strategies, how to use Bookmap efficiently. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff. Um, uh, you know, basically our um, educational course covers it all. So you, you have free access to the educational course part one. If you just look up Bookmap um, educational course part one, uh, and our, it'll be on our YouTube channel. Uh, you'll need to subscribe to get um, parts two and three and four. Okay, each part is an hour long. Part three goes over strategies and uh, setups. Okay, but it's really before you get to part three, you really need to go. I really highly recommend part one and two. And you'll start to be able to kind of piece together part three um, and, and start to understand uh, strategies and setups. And then we, we go through it here as well. I mean, we've been going through many. I just haven't gone through, you know, I've been going through the reading and order flow. I haven't gone through like, okay, well, you know, here you're, 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 you're buying the breakout. You're placing your stop here. I mean, I did cover like, yeah, I'd, I would I would get into this. I would be looking for the move back up into here. I would cover some, uh, et cetera. Um, but um uh, yeah, that's, uh, um, I, I'm just going over it in general and here's why. Okay. Because I, you know, I, I it's not a cop out here, uh, but book map is not a trading strategy, right? There's so many different ways to trade. We have live trading from, um, uh, J trader, a stocks trader who trades completely differently than Scott Pulsini, a futures trader, right? There's so many different ways to trade. Hey, J Traders trading, even he has multiple uh, setups that are completely different from each other. Uh, and then uh, now Scott has more. He's got lots of different setups as well. Uh, but um, uh, he's he's relying very heavily on the stops and icebergs indicator. So uh, and he's kind of using it in a different way. He's not using it as a signal. He's using it as like kind of a wake up call. Of like okay something significant happened now let's go check it out right so it, it he wants to know if like that significant um, event of stops and icebergs happened at an important level that's the way he's using it so he's kind of using it in reverse as to what rambo mambo was asking earlier about like well stops and icebergs like you know it's hitting one shouldn't it be bouncing or whatever and I, my answer was, no, we read the order flow first, and then we look at stops and icebergs as a confluence. Scott's kind of using it differently. He's using it the same way, it's just in reverse. He's waiting for that big iceberg event to happen, and then he's going to look at the order flow. So order flow still rules also for him, but he's looking at um, the icebergs as the kind of um, like alert or alarm, I should say. Not al al alert, but kind of the wake-up call. Um, oh yeah, there's also uh, Tom uh, uh, Tom B. Um, he had a, a, a webinar in here, okay, from our YouTube channel. Uh, he'll he'll be in here streaming tomorrow. So um, uh, yeah, I would highly recommend uh, before you uh, come in and start watching Tom, go to our YouTube channel, scroll down, uh, and uh, go to um, oh, I'm sorry, it's right at the top here. Pro Trader webinar series right here, okay. And here's Tom B right here. All right, so uh, watch this one here. Okay, it's the third one over. Through yeah. this. So, this is a so uh, yeah, this will be very very helpful and be a, a nice primer for you guys uh, when Tom starts jumping into the room, okay. So, he, you know, he spent some time on this. He went over it in detail. There's all sorts of great things in here to, to take a look at. Okay. So, uh, yeah, take take a look here. And, uh, you know, now he goes through these in detail. Right. So don't be overwhelmed by this here. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of he'll, he'll, he'll cover it very nicely in here. Right. So, yeah, please, I, I encourage you, watch that first. All right. So, um, let's see, to answer all your questions, um, I think so. Uh, oh, there's also Doug on trading. Yep. Uh, David. Uh, yeah, this is another one here. This is another Pro Trader webinar. Whoops. Oh, this is a PDF. Okay. Oh, this is from Spot Gamma. Okay, so this is something Doug 
uh, wrote here. Um, and um, yep, check it out. Uh, this is another another. These are, we have all sorts of resources in here. My God. Um, oh, you made it into a PDF. <laughs> okay, good job, David. Um, uh, yeah, well, take take a look at this, and, and uh, as well, you you should be able to also find the link to it um, uh, directly uh, from from Doug Pless in here. So there's a whole there's a slew of resources I just uh, you know mentioned, and uh, uh, yeah, take a look at those. Start with the educational course, though, please. Um, that's the um, kind of sets the foundation and that's our goal here is that will set the foundation and then everyone can build upon that okay um, you know Doug's uh, uh, order flow reading Scott's J traders uh, Tom B um, will be looking at many of the elements from this foundational uh, educational course okay it's just reading the basics in order flow All right so anyway uh, that's that guys let's go over a few of these sweeps here I want to go through this uh, so you understand what you're looking at um, and uh, yeah here's our move back up into our other level here and our pull back here as well and bouncing off of 80 um, anyway uh, so some nice moves in here again uh, you know back up into the, these value areas uh, so let's um, Let's go through the sweeps, and we're going to see some really nice sweeps in here. Got to the downside. Now, I'm going to use the dimmer here on the heat map, and I'm going to um, delete all the drawings here. Okay, and let's go through it here, what, what uh, is actually happening um, with the sweeps, okay, and uh, how the indicator works, okay, and how to read it here. All right, so uh, here, here's a sweep of 192 to the downside right here. All right, so w w what exactly is that? Let's go through it here. We'll click on this um, and go to sweeps. Click on that. It's selected, and it's a very, very simple indicator. Okay, within a certain time frame, and very small time frame, 0.01 seconds. Uh, it, it's actually on the automatic mode right now. I'll cover that in a minute. Okay, so at point oh within point oh one seconds, um, the traded volume was greater or equal to one hundred and fourteen. Okay, if so, mark the chart, and the price levels here to mark uh, up to two. At minimum is two. Okay, so it, that means that you'll get at least two dots in here uh, from this indicator. Uh, and in fact, let's even take off the volume dots and the um, maybe even best bid and offer here. And you can see there's three dots in here. Okay. So at, at least 114, you know, traded within this event here within 0.01 seconds. Okay, and it's actually 192 that traded within that time frame. That's how it works. Uh, so. Um, uh, that's it, and it sweeps to the upside as well. Same thing. Okay, so <coughs> let's uh, put put the uh, uh, heat map. We got heat map on here, and the uh, volume and best bid and offer. Okay, now let's zoom out, and we can make these uh, bigger here. You can you can also if you really want to see quite a few more. Now you you're going to get maybe you know uh, you're going to get a lot more events if you um, boost up the uh, time frame here or take down the number traded here, right? So you got to make it work for you. You know what what works best for you. Uh, I would definitely recommend putting at least two levels in here. I think that's a very good setting. Uh, we can make the icon size a lot bigger here. dot size here we go okay so our, our dot sizes yeah so here's another sweep right and this is also good you're gonna see that these sweeps line up pretty nicely with stop runs it makes sense it's a book sweep which a lot of times a book sweep is a stop run but not always and there's a sweep to the upside here as well right here Okay, here's another one, and not much, right? Just a couple, 
uh, but right down into high liquidity here at 75. And we were, we were keen on this level here at 75, okay, early on. Surprised we don't see a book sweep up here, but that tells you something too. When you don't see a book sweep, this is real buying. This is, these are new buyers coming in. It's not a stop run. Here are likely those new buyers getting stopped out. Okay, here's a beautiful book sweep. Now, let's let's go through a way Moby kind of looks at this here is another scenario here. Okay, so now we're down below our 75 level and look at the stops, you know, triggered. Uh, and look at the sweeps here. Now we've got sweeps on both sides here. A little bit of buying here, a little bit of buying here, but most of it is here with the selling. Now, the way Moby would be looking at this is probably a move back up or one of the ways he looks at it. Boy, I... I should talk to, to him more. You know, we'll do a, we'll do a webinar with Moby um, uh, and um, uh, have him uh, uh, discuss it here. But uh, we're looking for a move. One of the scenarios I know he looks for is like a move back up above here on, on buying. Right? And it makes really good sense. So it's a stop run and, well, it's kind of empty. It's kind of like empty selling. It's not new selling. They're exiting the market. So we're looking for buyers above it. Okay, and where would we be looking for the move? Back to here. Back to here. Okay. It's great stuff. Okay, pretty pretty big uh, uh, sweep here. 722. Not bad. Let's see, David has another one in here. Okay. All right, guys. Well, anyway, we covered a lot of different stuff in here. I just wanted to kind of uh, cover some of these sweeps in here a little bit. And uh, you can start to look at strategies around them uh, as well. Uh, kind of similar to the way, very similar. One way is to look at, um, uh, you know, these sweeps is like, uh, now, did it accept or reject above or below it here? If you can get back up here again, we, this would be like a false breakdown. And we'd be looking for the move back up. So here we go, actually. Now let's see if they do it. If they do, we're looking for first stop would be 76 and, and, a, and a half, 78. And then, yeah, back up into here, basically. Kind of 80, back to our 80 level here. See the buyers coming in? See the, see the zone right here? See the sweeps? Okay. So we're looking for it. Okay, now we're looking for the order flow to support it. Let's see if they bid up in here. And they're not. They're not. So this is kind of a, a, like a tiny little uh, false breakout here. And then move back. Okay, now here we go again. Now do we get buyers up here around 75? A little bit. A little bit more, and we should get our move. A little bit more, come on guys, and up to your 76 and a half, 78. I still like it up here at 80 uh, best. Uh, what's my SD multiplier? Okay, so that means um, um, the uh, so standard deviation multiplier here. Okay, right now I have it on. Well, I don't. I have, it's only with the automatic mode okay so if I flip to automatic here uh, I have it at um, 10 okay this is really simple here I'll cover this guys we've been going for over an, over an hour and a half here uh, but I want to cover this here in a little more detail for you um, and um, uh, so at least you have somewhat of a foundation here okay so guys, this is playing out beautifully here uh, to the upside. Right? So, you know, these are strategies you can consider. There's our move. Beautiful. 80. That's what we're looking for. Take your profit. Or take partial at least. At least. That's a really nice move. Okay. 
Um, all right, so stand, now the way that David was asking about my, what's my uh, multiplier here, standard deviation. Okay, so the way we set up this this automated um, uh, uh, no, node here or mode here um, is so that you don't always have to be adjusting this. Uh, it's going to be based on standard a standard deviation. So uh, or or none. If you don't want it on a standard deviation, just bring this down to zero. I guess you can't. One point five. Um, so, um, uh, but then you'd, you'd boost something else up in here to, you know, it's a filter though, right? That's, it's a filter here that we're using. Okay, and I had it on 10. So what this means in the automatic mode, which I like a lot, I think this is really, really intelligent, uh, from the, from the, uh, developers here. And within 0.01 seconds, okay, this number is grayed out. So, but we're still showing at least two price levels, but within 0.01 seconds, we're saying um, take a 30-minute interval here, which you can change, and within that 30-minute interval, um, what is the standard deviation times 10? Okay, and you can see what that number is here. It's grayed out, but it says 134. Okay, so then show me only 134 uh, or greater uh, within 0.01 seconds. So, and this number will change over time within the 30 minute interval. So you don't always have to come back in here and be adjusting this, and that's the goal here of using this automatic mode. Okay, it's very, I mean, does that make sense? Is, is it simple for everybody? It's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. Just don't even think of it as a standard deviation. Just think of it right now as, you know, within this time frame, within a 30 minute, just use the average. No, don't use standard deviation. An average here of 30 minutes, um, just understand the concept here. An average of 30 minutes, like show me, like, you know, in 0.01 second, what is that average? Well, now it's down to 129. You can see that. It was 134. It's adjusting. All right, so uh, therefore, uh, you know, you, you can start to look at these areas here um, uh, and um, instead of always like going back and forth and adjusting this number in here. Okay, I, I think it's really, really nicely done by the uh, good work from the uh, development team. So, and you can adjust your standard deviation, your time frame, or your seconds up here, uh, whatever you want. Make it, make sure it works for you though. Play around with it, and, and then when you get a good reading like this here, I mean, it, Moby, God, credit Moby for this one. Nice move. All right. Yeah, yeah, great feature. Yep, I agree, Kurt. All right, guys. So anyway, this has been an hour and. Um, 40 minutes so let's let's wrap it up here nice move uh, to the upside there uh, and uh, right back to where 86 okay and uh, you know this big cluster here okay value and we're still in a downtrend it's just been these false breakdowns and then move back in false breakdown move back in all right, guys, we'll wrap it up. Thanks for coming, and uh, we'll see you uh, tomorrow with uh, JTrader. We'll go over the S&P for like 15 minutes or so uh, before JTrader comes in. Okay, and then we'll go over stocks with, with JTrader. All right, thanks for coming. Bye-bye.